Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we're going to be playing Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, I believe this will be number three. This is pulsating pectorals with Passionate Patty or something along that. No, there it is. Passionate Patty in the pursuit of pulsating pectorals. So before she wasn't called Passionate Patty, she was called Polyester Patty in the previous game, but that's fine. Since we last saw our intrepid la hero Larry Laffer convorting merrily with a newly found true love in the sands of Nuntunite Beach, this beautiful island was undergone extensive renovation. Once pristine and primitive, covered by virgin rainforests, splashed by gurgling streams, and washed by tropical rains, Nuntunite is discovered and been discovered by modern civilization. Now I'm faster than the reading box. The villagers eager to shed the Stone Age lifestyle united themselves by forming Natives Incorporated to protect their interests and develop their island. Realizing they were sitting on a yuppie dream of ain't a gold that they would mine through the tourism, they took correspondence courses in business management, public administration, sales, and marketing. Learning modern construction techniques through self-help books and pirated videotapes of the, this old house, they began by building a hotel on the way on the way, uh, on the beachfront. Excuse me. Borrowing heavily from the foreign investors, they expanded into some very attractive tourist traps. That's how you do it. Got bungalows going up the mountain, up the volcano. Penthouse. <laughs> Is that a glass one reflecting the, the forest? So it kind of looks like they're doing there. But growth really exploded when they discovered the holy grail of modern mar marketing, the wonder of timeshare. Same place over and over again. Ah, uh, civilization. Who would want real palm trees when you never have to prune or water those new plastic models? Welcome to the paradise of the Pacific, the all new, all improved, totally yuppified, consumer orientationalized, none tonight resort. So there you go, that's the uh, introduction for this one. We'll go ahead and jump in. Welcome to Leash Street Larry 3, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of Pulsating Pectorals. As I said, in number two, we met a polyester patty, who's meant to be the female protagonist for the for the series, like his true love or whatever, for at least a few games anyway. And they decided to change her name to Passionate Patty because polyester patty was stupid, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, warning, this game contains some material which may be deemed offensive by some players. If you are offended by sex, adult situations, vulgar language, ethnic humor, sexual innuendo, or pixelated nudity, you'll be happier playing another game. Or watching a different video. Oops, uh, I don't play no dirty computer games. We gotta go watch PBS. Oh, go ahead, try to fit me. Alright, what is your age? Over 25. Prove you are at least 25 years old. Just answer these five simple questions. These are questions coming from the freaking 80s, so hopefully, or 90s, so hopefully I will be able to get them. The Gestapo was a now defunct chain of quickie marts in the Deep South, a tribe of headhunters, World War II German police force, or a popular 60s dance. That would be a World War II German police force. LSD is used to slow the spread of cancer, able to really mess up your head. That's actually probably true. Any large screen display or a uh, large stomach disorder. Able to really mess up your head. Analgesics are used to control pain, enhance rectal pleasure, prevent pregnancy, or kill fleas. I believe it's control pain. So let's go with control pain. Yes? Trying to record. What's up?
Thank you. The term baby boom refers to the now defunct practice of exploding ugly of offspring, noise a baby's bottom makes, increased birth rate following World War II, or sound a baby makes when dropped from a high building. That would be the increased birth rate following World War II. And why kids these days think that their entire life sucks. <laughs> because of what they did in the 90s. But anyway, someone interested in animal husbandry is married to a sheep, petitions for animal rights, or would be arrested in Michigan, or breeds livestock. Uh, I would say they would be... Breeding livestock. But think about that for a second there. <clears throat> All right, five out of five. Therefore, you get to play this game in totally raunchiest level. Have fun. All right, looks like okay. Oh, my, how this island has changed. You remember when I parachuted down here with nothing but a sleepy little native village inhabited by a tribe of illiterate islanders? Now look at it. It's overgrown with hotels, resorts, casinos, and cheap tourist traps. <clears throat> Point and click and move. Such is the cost of progress. At least your job as vice president of marketing for Natives Incorporated has enabled you to provide a lovely home for you and your lovely wife, Kalalua. So, although this is a point and click method like this, it's still just a click method to get you around. It's actually easier to still use the walking method that we used to use in the previous ones. That's what I'm going to stick to. Um, we have got gained some weight and definitely look a little different than we have in the last two games. Look, look, actually. Woo! <clears throat> From here on the lovely Vista Point, high up on the slopes of Nuntonite Volcano, the city lies spread below your feet like the floor of a movie theater after a Saturday matinee. A lovely lawn with a bronze plaque lies near two pair of binoculars. Look. And plaque. Ooh, the doing it right new music is a whole lot better. <laughs> on this, on this scythe, great hero of our people, Larry Laffer, significantly saved our island, or single-handedly saved our island, our from our moral enemy, mortal enemy, the evil Doctor Nun tonight. Or none, no nookie, excuse me. Boy, I don't know why that's harder to read. <laughs> it looks like for you guys. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, okay. It's all for me. Alright, let's go check out these binoculars. Oh, it's like a movie produced by Alo. I like this. Look at binoculars. Two pairs of free binoculars are mounted on a post near the fence. Use bino or binoculars. These binoculars are broken. Oh, okay, use the other ones then. Jeez. Oh, what was it that it was? I forget what the repeat command was. I wonder if it's listed up here. <laughs> use these binoculars. What is this? Oh, we don't have movement on these. I'm tracking somebody though. Oh, somebody turned the lights off. Alright y'all, you might have seen some pixelated boobies here, so uh prepare your eyes. I got jizzle physics. Jizzle jiggle physics already. <laughs> There was an improvement, as you can see, on the quality of stuff. Yes, yeah, she totally made it so uh, that no one could see her. There she goes. A so, there you go. <laughs> you wipe the sweat from your hands as you remove your eyes from the binoculars. Well, there you go. Let's keep moving. I'm going to try to keep the cursor kind of off screen as much as possible just because I'm going to use a keyboard move movements for this as, as it's easier that way.
Oh, there I am. I was like, where did I go? The villagers were wise to retain total financial and political control of their island. For example, they never allowed vehicular traffic anywhere. Everyone walks wherever they go. That is smart. <clears throat> Up this path lies your home. Your beloved Kalalua, Kalalau, is uh, probably there at home. I didn't catch that because I was trying to read and walk at the same time here. Shall I follow it? I think it's this way? Between the grass? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hand looked like it was between two layers. Good thing they pointed that out. I don't think I'd ever have found that. Jeez. <laughs> you said, Oh, Kalalua, baby. You shout, your lover boy Larry is home. I'm going to have to. You know what? I need to slow down that tech speed. Oh, no, you're not. Cries a voice from over the fence. You don't live here anymore. I've found a new lover and filed you for divorce. By island law, all I need to do is walk three times in a circle around your hour bed. I've done that many times over the past few weeks. You're stunned and you had no idea anything was wrong. What do you mean, divorce? Walk three times? <laughs> oh, Kalalau. Say it isn't so. Every time he gets his stuff together, Chick just dumps him. It is so, Larry. I'm leaving you and keeping the house. Now please go and leave us alone. Oh, is it a female? It has been five minutes since you saved your game. Thanks? <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen that done in the game before. Us? What do you mean, us? Are you in our hot, in our hot tub with someone else? Who 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 is it, Kalalau? Some chick. I'm with Bobby, my new lover. He she responds hurtfully. Bobby is able to meet my needs where you never were. You'll never bore me to sleep again, Larry Laffer. Dang. Kalalau, you cry. How could you possibly leave me for another man? I didn't, you fool, she replies. Bobby's a woman. <laughs> well then, poor Larry, not only does Kalalau no longer love you, she's fallen in love with another woman. What would Kalalau possibly see in an Amazonian Harley riding former cannibal lesbian slot machine repair worker? Look. Give Kalalau full reign of the design and decorating of your home. Lucky for you, she was the daughter of a king. Kalalau is heavily into the grocery store checkout line magazine School of Architecture. Okay, that would explain why everything looks like it comes out of a good, better homes and gardens. <laughs> Uh, get the hell out of here. Natives, corporations, natives, and kids have done an excellent job of preserving the environment of the jungle. Beautiful tree grows here. Beautiful specimen, Granadia tree grows here. How about this? Look at the tree. There you go. Short and graceful with a great trunk. And delicately spread branches. Yeah, they're referring to this thing. Well, either way. Recovering from Kalalau's shocking news, you carefully consider the alternatives. I suppose I could go into mourning, you think? Mope around all day and sit in my room? Rent lots of videos, things like that? Or I could give up women, remain celibate forever, enter the ministry or something? Wait a minute. What am I thinking? No way, not me, not Larry. Larry Laffer? You know this island is a perfect location for sophisticated single swingers like yours truly. And thanks to a wonderful island tradition, Kalalau's of Dowdery gave me hundreds of acres of potentially valuable forest land. Perhaps my love for Kalalau blinded me to the potential of my current locale. Where else could I find more women than a tropical resort and think everyone in them came here seeking just one thing, a good time. Can I walk there? Yeah, that's it, he exclaimed out loud. I've had it with monogamy, marriage, long-term relationships, commitment. 
<laughs> so be it. My life's new goal will be to allow as many women as possible to enjoy me while they can. <clears throat> I hope he loses some weight in this process because uh, he's not looking like what women would Oh, nice. Bring up the phone booth. <laughs> Yeah, change like Superman. He's back! Nope, not really much of a change. He's gotten healthy, I suppose. Look out, girls, just when you thought it was safe to die back in the gene pool, the original swinger is back at it again. With that white leecher suit. Can I, can I get wood now? <laughs> oh, hey. There it is. It was on the ground now. It wasn't there a second ago. Well, I'm making a big deal out of it. Take a beautiful chunk of the granite deal wood from beneath the tree. I'm gonna head back to the house and show her how awesome I am. And also try to check that mailbox I was looking at before. Um, that'll be a good idea. Now, apparently things have unlocked for me. We're still in the intros and stuff for this man. Okay, that mailbox. Okay, open mailbox. At least they have theme music now this time around. Look. Look at box. Okay. Look in mailbox. Oh, there you go. Well, well, look at this. It's an envelope from the credit card company. Get an envelope. Eagerly, you take the envelope from the mailbox. Could this be the big break from Ed McMahon you've been hoping for? That's a reference to the, um, oh, what was it? The millionaires. They used to send these, um, yeah, the lotteries that you see on TV, I can't even think of the name of them, right? Publisher Clearinghouse stuff. It used to be Ed McMahon based from back in the day. Ed McMahon, I do believe, used to be on The Tonight Show. Say, it's an answer from that credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. One mail comes pretty quick. Rip and open an envelope, you are discover a new credit card, and look, it's your name it's your, it's in your name. Kalalau can't claim this community property. <clears throat> Good. I'm rich biatch! Sort of. How will you ever use the credit card when everyone in the island knows you personally and also knows that you have current assets of Zipola? And your granadilla is hard and black. That's dirty. What is this place? Down this path lies your office. Say, what about that the cute little redhead in accounting? You always wanted a chance to balance her figures. Okay, thank you for telling me how to get out of here. It is the early time to start work. You better hurry, Larry. You're gonna be late again. You know how much Chairman Kenneth hates tardiness. Was that his name, though? Where am I, anyway? You're outside the island's casino steps lead up into the lobby while water splashes merrily down the fountain. <clears throat> I hope this trouble with Kalalau doesn't influence my excellent working relationship with Chairman Kenneth, you think? Oh, it probably will. <laughs> All the paper trees. I love his sense of humor on things, man. You'd think they just grow regular trees. Good morning, David. You tell the guard another day, another dollar, eh? The guard down there. Perhaps so, Larry, Dave replies. But then again, perhaps not. Chairman Kenneth wants you to report to his office immediately. Great. Okay, David, you respond. But to yourself, you think, don't worry, it's probably nothing. I bet he wants to compliment me on my last big ad campaign. I hope that these sequences start letting me fully read some of them. They all seem sequenced, makes it hard. That's the father. 
of uh, my wife or ex-wife. Good morning, Mr. Laffer, Chairman Kenneth Growls. It's so nice to see you fit a little time into your busy day to drop by and see us here at Natives, Inc. Please, have a seat. Far enough away. Anywhere but on my couch, he concludes. Um, okay. Sit on the zebra rug. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oops. <laughs> Perhaps you're wondering why I summoned you here, Laffer, begins Ken. It has nothing to do with that recent ad campaign of yours, although by its appearance you didn't have a hell of a lot to do with it yourself. getting chewed out. Oops, this isn't going that well, is it, Larry? Since you are no longer married to my daughter and your marketing skills are non-existent, I can't, for the life of me, think of a reason why I should keep you on here. In fact, I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. I know the perfect way to handle this situation. Uh, you hate it when he gets that look in his eye. Perhaps I could int should introduce you to a favorite hobby of mine. I thought that's what those were for. He just literally bowled me out of here. Ooh, got a spare. Son of a bitch, yells Caraman Kenneth. Another 7-10 split. Huh. David, Davy boy, barks Kenneth. Load up my RAM disk. I'm going to take that laptop out for a spin today. A <laughs> RAM disk. Some old ass laptops. Well, well, Larry, it seems your ad campaign wasn't the only thing Chairman Kenneth didn't appreciate. Oh, well, you lived off uh, your wits once, you can do it again. Think that. Yeah, you shake the haze from your brain, slowly rise to your feet, and stumble groggily outside. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a, begin a wonderful beginning to our days. That was humiliating, uh, humiliating there. You vowed never to work for him again. Well, obviously, it's not like you have a choice, but I like his sense of dignity. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Hope that you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. And uh, other than that, I will see you all in the next episode, which will be in about a few minutes here for me. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.